Hi, I'm Christy Clark and I'm very excited to be bringing you the latest issue of Let's Make Cards. We're on issue 4 and it's just 7 .99. It's out in the shops Friday the 23rd of March. Corin Brad is with me today and she's going to be gossiping about what we've got coming on issue 4 Let's Make Cards. Hi Christy. Hiya. Well the theme for Let's Make Cards issue 4 is spring and we've got some great background papers in shades of green and yellow and pink. There's also rub-ons, embellishments, sequins and stickers, so you can make all your birthday and Easter and thank you cards from this kit. That's a big pack today isn't it? Jeez, I mean, it's, it's there's a lot there and it's gorgeous colours. Well there's loads of ideas in the magazine how to use your cards. Um, Brenda Harvey has made 12 easy and stylish cards. Jill Albers has used bold and groovy shapes. Um, Tracy Dakin Jones has used background papers to great effect. And there's also six embroidered cards from Amanda Walker. And Melanie Hendricks made some great novelty cards here, one of which, the star card, I'm going to be showing you how to make later. That's gorgeous, Corinne. So what else can we expect? Well, there's step-by-step -step techniques. We're showing you how to distress with inks, how to cut the perfect circle, and how to make a good triangle card. Um, you also find that men are notoriously difficult to make cards for. So we've I think got difficult in general, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. There's several ideas on how to make a card for a teenage boy, so there should be something okay. to fit any type of boy. And um, we're also talking to the hot off the press crafting guru, Sarah Newman. Um, she's been telling us about her love of paper craft. Fantastic. So there's plenty for me to do in my lunch hour then, Definitely. or when the boss isn't looking. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what are we going to be doing today? Well, the star card that Melanie Hendrick has made, as you can see, when it's opened out, um, it forms the shape of a star. And she's decorated it. We've got hanging embellishments here. Um, it's a real great little card. It, it looks gorgeous. But for me, it looks difficult. It does look tricky. I mean, it's not at all. When it folds up, oh, wow. everything tucks in and you can just fold it, pop it in a little envelope. That's really clever. Now, the way to make this is if you take one of your card blanks and uh, you need to trim it down to size first of all. Now, these ones have been trimmed down to just under 8 centimetres deep. So if you cut your card blank, Quite simply like that. Keep these bits because they're very useful for the additional bands of colour that she's put in the card. Okay. You also need the back bit to be cut down to 8 centimetres deep as well because this makes the inside fold. When you cut them down, you can score them with a scoring board, quite simply. And what I've done is I've actually made a little mark here. Okay. So I know exactly where to score. And the great thing about scoreboards is because they've got several channels in them, you don't actually need to line it up to the predetermined channels. As long as you know more or less where you want to put it, if you just square it up to the bottom of the board, when you're tall down it. Really is as easy as that. Yeah, score it in half. Mm. So when you've scored all of these pieces, You very simply stick them back to back. This is how the book oh, is formed. Right. So an ordinary paper glue like a print stick will do. Everyone's got to have a print stick. Yeah. Just line them up and stick them white sides together. If you can try and keep the fore edge of your fold quite neat, it means that when you fold your book up, you've not got raggedy edges. Okay. I think the table's going to collapse in a minute if I press too hard. <laughs> Okay, so they're all stuck together. Mm -hmm. So when they open out, they will form the star. Gorgeous, okay. Now, to stop the pages from flapping about, mm -hmm. you need to put the inserts in here. And these have been made from the other side of the card with a hole punched in them. I've made some earlier. And what you need to do, again, you need to score your card in half. Mm -hmm. And then you just need to make a concertina fold. You can use a scoring board or 
You can just use your fingers. It's quite easy to do. Yeah. Scroll it back again like this. Okay. Okay. So you've got a W shape. Yeah. And then if you get a large crafting punch, this is a large circle punch. Pop the card in there. Take it right back to the back of the throat of the punch. Line your centre fold up. There's normally a centre mark. Oh right, on your okay. Punch. So line you can it up, up that. quite easily. Yeah. And then just give it a good old wallop oh. to get your circle out of it. Okay. Okay. What you then need to do is you need to stick this inside here. Again, just a crit stick or other glue stick will be fine. And just be careful to make sure that you're lining up your outside edges again. Yeah, keep it neat. You should keep it neat. And then just give it a press tail. So when it opens up, it's like this. And when you do that with all of them, you should end up with a finished card just like this. Mm, here's one you made earlier. Now, the addition of these hanging elements is a good idea. I mean, they do sit quite nicely inside the apertures when you fold the card shut, and they're quite easily done by just taking one of the card embellishments that's in the pack. It's my favourite thing, putting eyelets and things, you know me. If you, you love pierce your rings. Yeah, if you pierce a hole yeah. in the top with a pin, make it big enough that you can actually get the eyelet in there. I let the jump ring. Pop your jump ring through. Fiddly little things. They are very they? fiddly. I might make that hole a little bit bigger. If you've got a small eyelet punch, actually, for um, making holes with, that might be easier. And also if you have smaller fingers. <laughs> <laughs> See, I've got the small fingers, but I have the false nails, so yeah, it doesn't work so you well. You have to do that, will you? <laughs> right, that's three. Okay. And then just at the top of your card, the top of your hole here, mm -hmm. make another hole. In fact, I'm actually going to make a slit with that to make my life easier. And then just close it up. Always, if you're doing a jump ring, if you've, you've got your ring like that, always close them up sideways. Don't push them together, otherwise you'll spoil the curve of the circle. And that just leaves it hanging there. Fair. So uh, what I should have done is some of the <laughs> pre-jump ringed embellishments I should have used then. We'll know for next we'll time though, Karen. <laughs> and then also, then what you can just do is to go to town on it. What she's done is she's um, used some of the larger embellishments on the front here with uh, the foam pads to give it added dimension and she's used little um, very fine, probably Art Institute glitters. Um, she's tied a bit of ribbon to the front. Um, we've got rubbons that are used in here and strips of the backing papers. That have come so she's in the really kit. used so yeah, much I mean, of she's the really kit. Gone to town. I mean, she's used five card blanks up in this, but in all honesty, the amount of embellishments that she's used, there's still loads more left over. But you can use that much. Nobody's going to have a card like this, no, are they? No, I mean, it I've really isn't. Certainly a, never had a card like that for my card. birthday. No, and fantastic. it is very simple to make, apart from putting the jump the rings. The jump rings, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> fantastic. Well, as I said before, issue four is on sale Friday, the twenty third of March. It's just seven ninety nine. Leave me some messages on the forum. Let me know what you think about these projects. I look forward to seeing you again soon. If you've enjoyed this demonstration, then why not treat yourself or a friend to a subscription of your favourite crafting magazine. Every month, you'll have the latest issue delivered direct to your door, so you'll never have to worry about missing out. 
Why not subscribe to Let's Make Cards? It's just $16.50 for three issues via direct debit, £38 for six issues, or £70 for 12 issues. As well as saving up to 30% off the cover price, you can be sure of receiving your issue of Let's Make Cards regularly. With everything you need to make beautiful greeting cards in just one pack, don't delay. Visit www.letsmakecards.com or call 01778 392 083.